So here's our formula. Big R, that's going to be our monthly payment, is equal to, on the numerator, P, our principal, times our interest rate over 12 for the 12 months, divided by, on the denominator, 1 minus 12 divided by 12 plus the interest rate, and the exponent 12 times t, t being times in years. Our book does use variations of this formula. Some are more confusing than others, but this one will work every single time for every single problem. So you're going to see that this is my fallback. This is the formula that I will be using every time. So here's an example of a problem. We're going to borrow $300,000 to buy a house, and the current mortgage rates are about 4.8% if we're borrowing for 30 years. So the first thing I'm asked to do is to calculate the monthly payment, which you see I've done here. We borrow $300,000, that's the P. The interest rate is 0.048, so you see in the numerator $300,000 times, in parentheses, our interest rate divided by 12. And then the denominator. This one's the tricky part. I have 1 minus in the denominator, parentheses, 12 divided by. Now, on the bottom here, it's supposed to be 12 plus R. Our calculators are going to want us to go ahead and add 12 plus the interest rate in our head. If you were to put 12 plus 0.048, it's going to give you a negative number for in your calculator as your final answer. And we cannot owe a negative number. It all has to do with order of operations, but the quick fix is to go ahead and add 12 plus the interest rate in your head. So 12 plus 4.8% gives me 12.048. And then in the exponent, I have 12 times 30 because T was 30. Again, we talked about in the last section that when we have two numbers in the exponent, we want to put parentheses around those. Now, I like to be extra careful and do this in steps in my calculator, and I would encourage you to do the same thing. So typing in just the numerator, I got out 1,200. I didn't round. That's what I got out. If I'd had decimal places, I would not round. Do not round until the end. On the denominator, I got a nasty-looking decimal, and we're going to get a nasty-looking decimal every time. But mine was 0.76239072528. Again, yours might not come out exactly the same decimal places, but it needs to come close to as many decimal places as I have. Now I'm going to divide that fraction and get a new decimal place answer. This is the one that I can round and be my final answer. This one rounded a little weird, so I wanted to show you. My calculator gave me 1,573.996063. Rounding that to two decimal places would actually round it to $1,574. Do not round to the nearest dollar, round to the nearest two decimal places. This problem happened to make that to the nearest dollar, but that's not always the case. If you're having trouble with these problems, type them in the calculator. I would encourage you to try to get some help, um, either from me or from a math learning center or a tutor somewhere, because these um, problems can be very difficult to type in our calculator. That's usually the, the biggest problem we have, and you might need to ask for help with regards to that. Another question I could be asked is how much interest I will pay over the life of the loan. And this is the problem that usually gets people. They can work enough problems like part A, you get the right answer, but they have trouble with this type of problem. The first thing I need to do is calculate how much money I paid. I am not going to use the interest formula from the previous sections. That's because they are not compounded interest. All right, so do not use I equals PRT for this problem. Again, that's because that's a simple or add-on interest, and this problem needs a compounded interest. So what I'm going to do is figure out the total amount of money I paid. So I paid $1,500 sorry, $1 every month for 30 years. That's where I get my 1574 times 12 times 30 to give me a total of $5,566,640. That's how much total I paid to the bank. The bank gave me $300,000, so I'm going to subtract that from my total. 
which means the interest or what the bank earned off of my loan gave me $266,640. Make sure and pay careful attention to this problem because this one gives most people the hardest time from 13.4. I'll be working another problem in the next video. Good luck.